on God's sins, noting that the reason some marriages faced challenges was not the lack of knowledge, after which he joined the couple, who exchanged wedding vows and rings. Duly considering the cause for which matrimony was ordained. Firstly, it was ordained for mutual society, for help and comfort that one ought to have of the other. With this ring, I beg you, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Speaking after the church service, the newly wedded couple is a press of gratitude to God for the precious day while promising to love each other till the end of time. Our love keeps going from strength to strength and we live in happiness and peace forever. Amen. I feel amazing. I feel blessed. I'm thankful to all our family and friends who have come out to celebrate with us. May God bless you. Family members, friends, well wishes and all the guests and moved from New York to Church to Mara Event Center located at Astor for the grand reception in honor of the couple who were led in with the land by Jeffries as well as by Stevens. <laughs> It was a moment of joy and merriment for all with the father-daughter dance as well as the mother and son dance. High points of the occasion was the cutting of the cake. The couple's first dance, a toast, was anchored by the bride, Caesar, Chief Osasu Ibinejo. And a hundred. <laughs> Parents of the couple, while speaking with ITV News, offered marital prayers to the newly wedded couple, charging them to put first in order to the new phase of her I wish she has a peaceful marriage, very successful and peaceful. And um, we give back to the and the church. We have we not great being such a family too. Is to live as peaceably and lovingly as they have started. And to see the face of the Lord following the three C's that have been taught them today. My wishes for them is everything they wish themselves. Every day that they die, I pray that God has according to his will. Obviously, their home will be in Jesus' name. I wish them love you, Mary, and pray for okay for them. So that everything that Mary comes with. First, who wish the only wedded couple a happy married life extolled the selling qualities of the Iman Wanku families. I'm going to for Pray that's how they make gold. You know, these are comfortable people, they're God fearing people. I have no doubt that these, you know, their children will do well in marriage. I'm wishing the couples well, wishing them more fruitful years, happiness, joy. Excitement. They are public figures, they uh, have produced governors, and the man himself, that's Ibinejois and his institution. So they are blessed to come from that family. I wish the two of you a very peaceful marriage, a very fruitful marriage. I decree and I declare that your children shall surround your table. What more can one say than wish the couple a happy married life? Osawona me ibizubi. ITV News, Abuja. At the state governor, Mr. Gaudin Obasaki, who won the September 19th governorship election under the platform of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, today, dissolved his campaign council headed by the national vice chairman of the party, South South Chief Dan Obi. Government House correspondent Patience Sagua reports that the event had in attendance all executives and members of the Edo 2020 PDP Governorship Campaign Council. It is on record that Edo State PDP Governorship Campaign Council visited the 192 wards to solicit for votes for Governor Baseki and his deputy, who were eventually re elected for a second term. At a crucial meeting, Edo State Governor thanked the PDP Governorship Campaign Council for a successful campaign and victory at the polls. Governor Baseki, full of appreciation to all members of the Campaign Council, formally dissolved the Campaign Council. If you sit back and reflect critically on where we are coming from, how all of this came together, the time we had, the resources we had, and 
the victory which we finally achieved, you could only describe it as a miracle. And all of you who contributed in one way or the other in make, making it happen were all miracle workers. The chairman of the campaign council, Chief Dan Obi, and the director general of the council, Barista Osao Dion Ogie, also expressed gratitude to members. He did, did a great job. I know quite a number of folks who are working in their respective constituencies. Some went out with us going around the 192 wards. But at the end of the day, I must commend all of us for a job well done. So I want to thank God and to thank all of you for everything you did, the time that was available and the resources that were also available because of the world economy. Some members of the council who include Edo State PDP Chairman Dr. Tony Azibemi, the member representing Edo South Senatorial District at the National Assembly, Senator Matthew Orohide, Barrister Pascal Ogbome, Senator Cliff Odia, and others comment on the challenges, experiences, and expectations. It is now for us to manage our success. Let us lower our expectations. There is no need to bring anybody down for you to go up. The appeal to you. Is to, to, is to do more so that other persons that will come after you at different levels too can benefit from it. When God is with you, no matter what, it will always turn out well. And I want to thank you for proving that you can be tenaciously stubborn, and that is faith. Governor Basak expressed his readiness to work for the interests of the people of Edo State in his second term. Patience, O Saugiwa, reporting. You're watching the ITV main news. Please stay tuned for more stories after this break. When I, Honorable Dr. Flix Godson Akabwe, on behalf of myself, wife, family, the entire good people of Islam West, heartily felicitates with His Excellency Governor Godin Inogayase Obasaki and his deputy Kamri Fili Shaibu for their re election for a second term. My Governor, our gallant commander, role model of Nigeria's democracy, this victory, driven by the love of millions of Edo people at home and abroad, is an attestation of your innovative governance culminating in the prudent management of the later resources of Edo State for optimum benefits to the people reflective of the private sector mindset which I have deployed in my private business life for over three decades. No doubt you have stirred a new dawn a political revolution and a dispensation which neither time nor event can obliterate from our memories. We are proud to be associated with your kind and it's our prayers that a good Lord grants you more grace, wisdom and knowledge to pilot Edo State to a greater pedestal. Signed, Dr. Felix Ahabwe JP, Honorary Commissioner, Edo State Ministry of Wealth Creation, Cooperatives and Employment. Wow, it is a new dawn. The grand opening of another arm of Dirt Day, a street of Benza in Morty Tarsit Tourist Day, Nagba Road, Ipopa Hill, Benin City, Padang of Three Minutes, Northern Kiba, but Lakes, Put in Touch Mountain, Sanitary Center, Boys, so at Job, Bernin, under the distinguished chairship of His Excellency, Sir Gabriel Sauro Ijo, Sir of the Nation, is going to be opened up, part by GSPC, Sotted by NK. Day, first to about 20, up in PCD, is up to the top, with a professional speed, and a mess of your community of local net efforts, with a little bit of God, my deputy, rival, comrade, finishing the web victory, bring our depth of Recruitment develops your to our gov in your ears. We are with your strength, protest me now. We bring a lot those as a local government. One game, congratulations, your recipe. Fine, but this sketch on behalf of a key council of heads, trust, use, and the endeavors of committee.
Many thanks again for rejoining us on the ITV News tonight. The immediate past member representing Ovia Federal constituency at the House of Representatives and a chieftain of the People's Democratic Party, Barrister Mossadegh Benitio, has encouraged young women to actively participate in politics so that they can contribute their quota to nation building. The former legislator made the remark during a victory party organized by members of Edo Girls for Obasaki to celebrate the victory of PDP and Governor Basaki in the just concluded Edo State Governorship election. Best in Biri has details. Victory dance by members of Edo Guests for Basaki, led by its initiator and PDP woman leader with four Edo local government area, Mrs. Evelyn, in a segment of the convention, Benet, to unwind and celebrate the victory PDP and its government candidate, Godwin Obasaki, and his deputy, Carmen Philly Shribu. Mrs. Evelyn Ines said they came together to appreciate members for their effort to ensure victory for Governor Obasaki and also to thank the immediate past member representing Ovia Federal constituency, Barista Mosedek Benedion and the patron of the group, Wesley Asoro, for the support for the group. We are so happy today we are having a party because we are victorious. I cannot thank you enough. As a woman in politics, I admire so many things about you, beautiful and amazing things. You always put people first. I see that in you. Even though they don't to picture him, but I will assure that we at the guests of Asaki in the state are going to start strongly yes, behind you. And to our patron, Ambassador Wesley Asuro, hey, your girls are very loyal and committed to your cause. Yes, Barista Mosedek Benedio commended the ladies for their commitment and hard work, which ensured a victory for the Edo State Governor at the poll. She called on young ladies and women to take active role in politics. On his part, patron of Edo Girls, Wesley Asoro, congratulated Edo Girls for Basaki for their role during the electionary campaign for the re-election of Obasaki. It's not only women interested in politics. And I, for one, when I decided to contest a while back, everyone was wondering why on earth would I want to do that but um, I can tell you this I've got no regrets and I want to encourage each and every one of you too that um, if you decide to be committed I assure you that the sky will be your limit we are all happy and uh, the victory is for everybody and the victory is for the youth and uh, we are here to celebrate the victory with the yellow guests and uh, we are all delighted Evelyn in the She's my goddaughter. As she's celebrating the victory of PDP in those states, I have to join her to celebrate the victory of the Honorable Governor. Some of those guests for Basaki, who also thanked Barista Mosed and their patron, Mr. Wesley Asoro, said victory of Gno Basaki and Cameron Fisher Ibo was said. I want to thank God for the victory of Godwin Obaseki and Chaibo. And table 19 was a day we all came out with a fourth to vote, and our vote ended up with a celebration. And those guys is meant for. Godwin Obaseki, we the Edo Guest Group are celebrating a victory party. The celebration featured the cutting of the Governor Obaseki's victory cake. Best Mbire reporting. Chief of Staff to Edo State Governor Mr. Osaze Uzami says Nigerians will have more confidence in INEC due to the transparency of the Commission exhibited in the conduct of the recent Edo State Governorship election. Mr. Uzame made a remark in Benin City during a party organized at his residence to celebrate the victory of Governor Obaseki. The residence which served to Governor Obaseki was electrified during a victory party in honor of Governor Obaseki. The chief of staff to Governor Obaseki, Mr. Osaze Uzame, appreciated God who made it possible for Governor Obaseki to be re-elected against all odds. Mr. Ozame appreciated INEC for conducting credible, free, and fair governorship election in the state. So INEC, they did well. It was a very, very free and fair election. The people came out to support His Excellency, Mr. Godin Obaseki. In their remarks, Chairman of your Northeast Local Government Area, Scott Obomudia, and Chairman of your Southwest Local Government Area, Destiny Inabulele, thanked the people across the 18 local government areas for coming out en masse to cast their vote for the People's Democratic Party. I want to thank God Almighty for, for a victory. 
duty you were deserved of His Excellency. Oh. Want to thank the people of Obia for coming out to pass to vote for His Excellency. And we are here to unwind because uh, for the past three, four months, we have been from house to house, street to street, unit to unit, ward to ward, and uh, here we are, victory. A Dual State Commissioner for Local Government and Community Affairs, Monde Osaigbovo, and his counterpart at the Ministry of Special Duties, Benjamin Iyase, said the victory of Governor Baseki is well deserved. We thank everybody in this state for their support. And like what the governor said yesterday, we voted for him for purpose of continuity. And he was ready to work, and he's going to continue to work. It's to demonstrate to the people that we love Obaseki. And we voted for Obaseki to come for the second term. The uh, two people are, were very unanimous today. In the and they are because no the very do and Residents of Lodjuta, King Celeste, God Baskin's Day, Philip, the region and now the governor of the state, the people of Ulubo, in a congratulatory message signed by the secretary Ulubo Dukta, the King Friday Osazua said the overwhelming victory of Governor Basaki in Saturday's governorship election was well deserved. They said the developmental strides of Governor Basaki led administration cuts across all parts of the state. They noted that they are living proof of the governor's good works and know with God Almighty on his side, Edo State will see more development in the next four years. The Director of Communication and Strategy of Gordon Obaseki 2020 campaign organization in the recent Edo State governorship election, Dr. Pedro Obaseki, is organized a party in what's by local government area and in city. At this Suwa Irinoha reports that the event was an opportunity for PDP members to reappraise their performance during the election. <laughs> Upper Mission Road, Benin City. Venue for the event was a hive of activity as PDP members and leaders in whatever, including members in New Era, to post out of a convener and director of communications and strategy of the Guardian Obaski 2020 campaign organization, Dr. Pedro Obaski, took turns to appreciate all those who were instrumental to the victory recorded by PDP re-election Governor Gadri Obaski. Many PP leader members of seven had reassured them of the governor's commitment to carry out more developmental strides for the state. But Nobaseki is the representation of what Edo people really want. And we thank God, that is why we are all celebrating that Godwin's victory is a victory for all collective Edo people. We have seen what he's been doing to make Edo stay great again, and we are all behind him. Other party leaders in Ward 7 expressed joy because of the victory at the polls and dedicated it to God Almighty. They affirmed their commitment to the party and the leader, Don Pedro Obaseki. We are, we are happy that God has given to Obaseki family, especially our, Hello. Son, our father, and my personal assistant. We want to join our brother, our senior brother. Don Pedro Obaseki. He has been a leader and we believe also in him. And we know what he has done during this election. So we all gave him the support. I watched keenly on how he has worked. I mean, Don Pedro now. I saw the way he went about the um, campaigns. You know, there is nothing you put God in and God does not um, give you victory. But I know people are so happy. I will pray other states emulate this. I thank Edo Light, both home and abroad, because for them to take decision. The party afforded them the opportunity to dine and wine. There were special musical performances to entertain party members. At this Sua, Iwai reporting. We'll take another break on the Eyes of Romain News. More stories coming up. Please stay tuned. Of 19... Congratulations, Your Excellency, the overwhelming victory at the gubernatorial elections of 19th September 2020 did not come to any 
discerning mind as a surprise. We, the entire members of College of Education, Academic Staff Union, COESO, Igwe Bank Chapter, saw it coming. We congratulate and rejoice with you over your victory. The heavens ordained victory of your administration was well deserved because the foundation of the victory was predicated on your good works in the area of numerous developmental projects that are dotted across all the nooks and cranny of Edo State. The victory should therefore serve as an impetus for further development. Your Excellency, by the unparalleled performance of your government, your opponent was not a match for you. The support base of your government caught across every stratum of the state that the Edo State never had it good in recent times. We are all proud of you and your team as we congratulate you once again we plead you to keep up the good works, which is the hallmark of your government. A delight from all walks of life, love you and your administration, and this was amply demonstrated during the election. It is our prayer that the good Lord will continue to direct the policies of your people-oriented government. The standard you have set should not be lowered. Rather, there has to be progressive improvement for the overall benefit of present and future generations of Edo State. May God bless and keep you and your family. May he imbue you with the wisdom, understanding and knowledge that will propel the state to higher levels of uncommon development. Thank you. Signed, Comrade Olatunde Abiola, Chair, Comrade Benny, Sec General. This is you are not to spoil it. The address that you are relaxed and don't fat. You bigger fat in protection for your home. Bigger, take back your home. Essage is family company. One year in mind. Late Mrs. Rose, Idemudia no Gose, Iye Nogi, you lived well, you were strong, courageous, humble, truthful, peaceful, evidently and unifying force for both your immediate and extended family members. More importantly, you served God diligently till the very end. We miss your constant smile and words of encouragement. Your memories will always be with us until that day when we shall meet again to part no more. You have fought a good fight. You have finished your race. You have kept the faith. Iye Nogi, continue to rest in peace until that resurrection morning where we shall meet to part no more. Amen. Fondly remembered by your children, Miss Mali, Echo, Mr. Courage, No Gwese, So Goodness, No Gwese, Mr. Stanley, No Gwese, Mrs. Juliet, I feel safe, Sazua, Signed, Mr. Stanley, No Gwese, For the Family. Pastor Charles Osazwa is my name. On Thursday, 1st October, Nigeria will be 60. I'm inviting families, individuals, to join me in this historic prophetic act of safety. This is a unique year. We have lost so many people this year. A lot has happened. A lot is still happening. Please, it's time to take cover. Come with a candlestick and anointing oil. Hear this, as many that were found in the ark were saved. You and your family, I want to see you. 6.30 a.m. on Thursday at Rock of Ages Council International Conference. I believe God, as you come for this meeting, God Almighty himself will be a mark of safety upon you. Wherever you are, by God's grace, you and I will be together and shout Happy New Year. It's a brand new day, I'm feeling stronger. Yeah. I fit to do anything, you know. I fit to do my work now. Yesterday was tough, but I don't repair, I don't recover. Yeah, see me as a fresh. Now they ask see me as how would I do Like me, I say, I still need to do it. You don't fuck up so long for the pedo. Repair and recover with Astimi. Oh yes, the Kelly Money Travel out of different places for Nigeria. Muyi Line, you know they disappoint. Muyi Line cheap a wolf price where they make Bele City don't come for you. From Benito Lagos, my two, Iyano Paja, Yaba, Aja, and other places including unbeatable a wolf price. From Benito Potakot, Wari, Bayesa, and other Niger Delta routes plus Ekoma, Auchi, Abuja, and other places for Nigeria. Come enjoy comfortable executive Muyi Line charter bus and car service to international airport and other destinations for this special a wolf price. 
Yes, now we your party party for all seasons and journey. Travel price must not disturb your journey. Oh, enjoy this cheap Awuf travel price for Muji Line. 169 Uselu Lagos Road, opposite Technical Johnson, Benin City. Muji Line, Grand Master Grand of Niger Delta Roads. Thanks for being there. The special advisor to Radio State Governor and Community Development, Newman Ugyagbi, has described the second term re election of Governor Godwin Obas by Edo people as a reward for his comprehensive developmental strides. Mr. Ugyagbi stated this while speaking on the Governor's Agenda. Mr. Ugyagbi stated this structures for by these actions, amongst others, governance was decentralized by giving honest people. You certainly believe that if I am going to have a project in your world, your people should be the people that will determine what they need. We need water, or we need electricity, or we need school. He said, gone are the days. I, as special advisor or member of the status quo or commission, sit in the government house and determine which project goes to the areas of the states. The special advisor on community development who showed what praises on Governor Gordon Obasaki for his innovation and governance that has changed the narrative about Edo State thanked Edo people for the second week to consolidate on impacts made. He opined that the Edo election is a pattern shift which has opened a new visit of hope for democracy to thrive in Nigeria. The past election this September 19 was not necessarily about PDP APC. It was a singular reason about the candidates. So to me, that's my personal view. Yeah. It wasn't about PDP or about APC. We saw in the past two months that there was more or less like a movement around the world. Whereby if you are in Canada, if you're in the United States, if you're in any country in Europe, Africa, down to Nigeria, you see a movement of how people were yelling, how people were hungry, how people were so determined that His Excellency God will no longer say Obasaki should be re-elected. So it was not necessarily about PDP or APC. It was about the candidates. Governor Gordon Obasaki, the PDP candidate in the September 20th governorship election, defeated his closest rival, Pastor Sai Izzam of the APC, with over 80 votes to return re-elected as an old state governor for a second term. Sharon Ajay reporting. The managing director of Gaudi Adosa Motors Nigeria Limited, Chief Godwin Adosa, has on behalf of his family and staff of the company congratulated the state governor, Mr. Gaudi Obasaki, on his last slight victory at the recent gubernatorial election held on September 19, 2020. In a congratulatory message, Chief Gaudin Adosa described the victory as unprecedented and a political liberation. He commended the governor of the NSDP, Kamri Naibu, for his unwavering loyalty and doggedness in the build up to the election. The business tycoon implored Kamri Naibu to give the governor the needed support to enable him fulfill his electionary campaign promises. Chief Adosa also appreciated the electorate across the state for ensuring their votes count to re-elect Governor Basaki, nicknamed the Wick and See Governor, to complement and complete the project he started across the three senatorial districts. He appreciated President Muhammadu Buhari for allowing democracy to thrive at the recent Edo State Governorship election, which is said will be reference point in the tree. Chief Edo State Grand Governor Basaki, wisdom of Solomon, to enable him to take Edo State to greater heights. Major streets in Novia Southwest local government area at this state literally stood still today following the victory party announced by the chairman of the government in Bulili to appreciate the people for massive support given to Governor State for the Basi, the Dust Lugid, the Shilishan, while in accord with the highlights of celebration, click the board.
Ugo Bazwa, the administrative headquarters of Ovia Southwest local government, came alive as president, putting across Patton in the Lamba, V party organized by Comrade Jesse Nabulili, in honor of the governor of the state. A smart women or selected in their way. The chief host of the V party chairman of Via Southwest local government, Comrade Desti Nabulili, paid homage to the traditional rulers and health communities for the victory for Governor Godwin. Comrade Nabulili thanked the people of Southwest for the overwhelming sort of figure. But this so that if, um, the acceptance of our, our governor is a man of the people. Oh, the, that is what we come so to appreciate to show our appreciation to our governor. We are here to take the good of your coming as for now. And those who in the defense of the women as of show. So God bless our chairman. God see that bless a governor. This is what we can say is intercontinental ballistic missile in politics. We thank the good people of, of your southwest, the way they massively voted for the governor. The rich cultural heritage of people who are suppressed was living in the A non-governmental organization, Felix King Foundation, has continued to put smiles on the faces of the downtrodden in the society through its project, the Better Life of Iron Man. 120 wheels, the members, the administrator of the central government area of it, benefited from the gesture of the Sawa Hestos. Udawoli, Afuda, Ibo, and Bokari. It's for the power cash donation from Phyllis King Foundation program tagged Better Life for Rural African Women as part of its efforts to put smiles on the faces of the less privileged in the society. The women who are mostly petty traders, low farmers, were grouped for the startup money ranging from 300,000 naira to 400,000 naira. Some of the beneficiaries said words are not enough to express their gratitude to Dr. Phyllis King who they described as God sent to humanity. Waiting we go tell Felix King now be say when we go tell God say make he help us do for him. He go give a long life. He not go die, make his wife not talk to him. Do. If you know say people they suffer, if you know say women, because women they suffer for ch for children, so now God go bless them. This is surprise me. I never see this money before, Felix King. As you remember me, as you not let me hungry. Our God will remember you. May God bless her and bond that and bond that in Jesus' name. My prayer to him, say, in work for this video will not be in vain. I say they help widows, and so God could help him. The one when I demanded before, I'll take this one, Jonah, the trade, and to feed my children. Commenting on the rationale behind the empowerment of widows, the founder, Dr. Phyllis King, said he was moved by passion to help the needy having experienced poverty while growing up in the village. According to him, the startup money will enable the women boost and start up a business, train their children in school, put food on the tables, get medicine and portable water. Our sources will serve as a guiding tool to different agencies and other stakeholders who are interested in the upliftment of rural Africa. One of the women benefited from the display of debt and business investments. Earlier, elder brother to the founder, Phyllis King Foundation, Pastor Henry Erimiokai, said the money will help the women start business and also enhance their welfare. Today's out, we must give money to 125 widows and single mothers. Make them take start small business. Over the years, thousands of rural women have benefited from the Phyllis King Foundation Better Life for Rural African Women. Patience O Saugiwa reporting. The ITV main news continues in a moment after this commercial break. Please stay with us. Never Niger is turning 60. And this time, we plan to loud it like never before. And set the record for the most number of people to sing our national anthem at once. Come sing with us on this exclusive virtual concert, 1st of October at 10.30 a.m. Only on the Coca-Cola Nigeria YouTube channel. Come, let's show the world that we're the proudest nation on the planet. It's going to be lit. It's going to be epic. Arise, O compatriots. Let's rep Niger like never before. See you. One year in mind, 
Daddy, we remember you today, our dearly beloved father, Pa Victor Omogiva Iyamu, a.k.a. Director. The good legacy you left behind, your tutelage, instructions to duty, guide for a better future, your rugged and dogged way of achieving purposeful results in life. This is our determinant factor that have led us this far. We have been waxing stronger since the past one year. The Holy Spirit, who is our source of help, has filled the vacuum you created. Daddy, we are consoled because we know that you have gone to meet with the Lord. Sleep on daddy until the resurrection money when we we'll meet to part no more. Fondly remembered by your children. Signed, children. Oh yes, the light must shine on. Business must go on. The engine must roll. We must enjoy comfort. Uyi Technica. Uyi Technica. The generator headquarters says something there for everybody. Generator there for everybody. Just as your pocket reach. Yes, so cheap affordable price for generators. We understand as everywhere day. So no matter the size of generator you want, whether not the small portable generator size to give you comfort for your house or to help your small business. I've been at the one for office, church, events, or the big one like long. Don't pack his generator and orders all day for affordable price, even for higher. No wait to hear. Oh. Come see for yourself. Let you testify. High quality petrol and diesel generators of different sides and brand. Eh. Machines to grind pepper corn and crack pump can eh. plus all that thing. See all day for OE Technica. Oh, and as technically, Technica. Apple generators for everybody. When you wake up in the morning before you start your day, breakfast time is chaos Start our day with a nourishing Kellogg's breakfast, powered with the goodness of grains and 11 essential vitamins and minerals. So in our family, breakfast time is Kellogg's time. Breakfast time is Kellogg's time. Who says we have to go back to normal? What if we choose to be open and say, I will never call my job unimportant again. I refuse to be a stranger in my own living room. I'll leave like a woman and I stand by every word I make, make, make my voice heard today see I'll never get how much struggle I'll carry that but where the song so I'll be open like never before You do well for the as you don't make it travel from Benito Lagos very cheap. Student price. As you sabi everything from Abinia. Oh, Bolivia. I want go take it. Thank you. For small money price to travel from Benito Lagos. Select my tool. Volkswagen bus stop. Another bus go carry you to Ikeja, Abulu Egba, Yanomaja. Now so another bus go carry you. Go for Aja Lekki. While another bus go drop. Or just a couple of for Benin. Oh, Hambalan get early money bus service. We go carry you for four o'clock. Early money fuel. Drop you for Lagos for seven. No clock it bamo. That's not why we they call them. Good morning, Lagos. Oh, Humber Line, you get hotel for your relaxation and event center for all location. Oh, Humber Line head office, you get two, two, two. Ubawa Lagos Road for Benin City. Oh, Humber Line, the tiger of the road. Thank you for staying with us on the ITV main news. Members of the National Palm Produce Association, that is the chapter, have been advised to ensure quality production of palm oil to guarantee healthy living for consumers. The advice was given by experts in palm oil production during the association's election in Benin City. Best in Biri reports. So, all the 37 people supported the state chairman position, Honorable Atoye. Members of the National Palm Produce Association of Nigeria, Edo State Branch, elected Mr. Fosa Atoy on a post as the state chairman of the association after other aspirants stepped down. National treasurer of the association, who was the national officer that conducted the election, Mr. Adebayo Bobade, described the conduct of the election as credible and urged the new executive, led by Mr. Ifosa Toy, to do things that will promote the interest of the National Palm Produce Association of Nigeria. What our expectation for them, our advice to them, which we have said that they should work together as a team to achieve greatness for the association. The real production of they will heap it somewhere because it's not falling off yet. They want it to stay there for some time so that they start falling off. But that stay, that period of stay, 
enables those the palm fruit to accumulate F, um, free fatty acids. Those ones they don't process well, they end up loading our system with F, uh, fatty acid. We are glad that a new executive has been put in place. Um, as a stakeholder, we have been very supportive to the association. Palm oil, some out colorings, which just to make it attractive for uh, to buyers, it is not healthy for consumers. And so we plead with them that they should maintain quality. The emergence of uh, Mr. Atoy is not, uh, did not come to me as a surprise. I wish Mr. Atoy and the member of the state ESCO a very successful tenure. The elected chairman of the National Palm Produce Association of Nigeria speak on what the administration will do to take the association to higher heights. What I'm bringing on board is first to identify the areas we are going to expand this association. We are going to work with the government of the day and we are going to add value. People will no longer be ashamed of why they are called farmers. The swearing in of the new executive we hold at a later date. Best in Biere. Reporting. An automobile mechanic, Saturday Aguiledo, who was recently bitten to a pop by two security personnel in Benin City, has died of complications related to the beating. Deborah Bevel reports that the victim, before his death, called for justice over the way he was brutalized. They come and put me for oxygen and uh, to make sure I come back to life. So that's why I say it. I don't know how to say it. Not my leg. I think I carry it. When Mr. Saturday Akidino, an automobile mechanic, was interviewed in a hospital bed, little did he know he would die less than 24 hours after speaking on his alleged brutality by two security personnel who were allegedly hired by a driver who brought a Hilos van for him to repair. Late Saturday, Akidino said he was beaten into coma for not meeting up with the date given to the driver. Blow my body. They carry me come and use wood, they beat me for granted. They say if I die, then better pass it. They will carry they will tell their mother to come for for the workshop. So see, then uh, I discover if I the peace now, blood they come out. On my body, don't fi don't finish. I never even say money to go do extra now. Yes, they, they say me I do general extra, me they know where they destroy for my body. The doctor who treated the victim via a recorded voice said the victim was rushed to his hospital unconscious and with serious health issues from the beating. He said the victim was charged with the to cut and die before he could go to the sun. We noticed that there was some more exceptions and some uh, injury to head and we ordered it to cut that it done, which was no need to it. The one of the that were written to, there was no need to cut them. Narrating her ordeal, the wife of late Saturday Akidino said her husband's life was cut short by the two security personnel who were hired by the Hillers driver to beat her husband for not repairing the van on time. She said the action prompted her to report the matter to the new Benin police station who asked driver to Polaco, where he has conducted to after the incident and arrested. She called for justice over the death of her husband and bring the two security personnel to book. Because he left the children behind. Not uh, I asked plan for the children. So me and I cannot carry on with everything. So I just want two soldiers to be bring to book. Mrs. Tina Hideno alleged that she reported the incident to the military police unit of four mechanized brigades Benin, but up to now no action has been taken. The Army Public Relations Officer declined comment on the matter. The officer said the victim should come forward with proof that he was actually beaten up by soldiers. The police are yet to comment on the matter. As a dossier police public relations officer, SP Chidi Wambuzo said he was out of the station on official engagement. He promised to comment on the matter at a later date. Debra Ubefun reporting. The Word of Truth Bible Church in Benin City was agog as the founder, Bishop Felix Owoha, celebrated his birthday. Best in Bureau reports, the members of the church who organized the ceremony and described the celebrant as a mentor.
Word of Truth Bible Church, located at number 8 Area Diawa Street off Upper Sikwamba Road, Benin City, was agog as members of the church, family members, friends, and guests gathered to celebrate the birthday anniversary of the founder Bishop Higgs Umoha. In a message, the officiating minister, Pastor Egosa Shalom, commended the celebrant for mentoring and grooming many young pastors to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. point was the cutting of the birthday cake and the presentation of a car by members of the planning committee to the celebrant Bishop Felix Mwoha. Appreciating members of the church, guests and the planning committee for celebrating his birthday with him, Bishop Felix Mwoha thanked God for keeping him and promised to use all his life for the service of God. I see today as a day of honor. I see today as a day of celebration. I return all the glory to the Almighty God. Celebrating the life of an amazing man of God. God is a promoter of those that serve him. Our daddy has been focused. So it's not a surprise that today the members are honoring him. I'm wishing my dad a happy birthday. He has been a wonderful father, a great example. He father in the Lord, actually. He's supporting us. Members of the birthday planning committee, including Mr. Dumez Edo, while congratulating the celebrant, said Bishop Wa is a man who has used all his life to serve God and humanity. We are celebrating with our daddy today, who turned 60 years. I wish him happy birthday. Long life, prosperity, every good thing from above. Happy birthday to my bishop. We are very happy with him. So God will continue to bless in Jesus' name. I want to congratulate our father in the Lord, my mentor. I want to thank God for having another year, a glorious year to his life. Bishop Phyllis is said of trained and many many in the churches. Best in Bire reporting. Congratulations to Bishop Felix Umoha. That brings us to the end of the ITV menus tonight for Blessing. Thank you for watching. See you at 11. From its good night. Independent television. Independent television news. Truly independent. Even when you don't climb, oh, even if you walk out, walk out, walk out, you go see people where they dance, they dance in the walk. You revise. Hey. Just our three one flow borrow pray get her time that you have later. Potential flow dial our three one has to borrow it. Go after this. I mean, say the best. change is one of the major characteristics. Today, we are faced with one of such transformation in the form of a virus. The coronavirus known as COVID-19 originated in China. There is currently no known cure or vaccine available for the treatment, but when one is infected, the symptoms include sore throat, headache, fever, dry cough, shortness of breath, and fatigue. These are symptoms similar to common cold. The transmission is reduced through washing of hands, often with soap and water. Now, if you're coughing or sneezing, it is advised that you wear a medical mask to protect others. Maintain physical distance and help prevent the spread of COVID-19. We at Niger Delta Development Commission love you so much and this is our message to help protect you from the deadly COVID-19 virus. Stay safe, stay strong.
drills. Make sure you keep to all health instructions. I get them for Corona. Me, I get them for Corona, and you want to give them to give them for Corona. Hey, Dokita, you are wicked. You are a woman. Hey. Knock down. Then people die. Um, on behalf of the police force, I say we are.